Well, good evening. I'm Robert A. Wilson with Cowboy Wisdom. Tonight, I want to talk about how I'm afraid of the simplicity of life and how I'm afraid to look at life through the simple eyes of spry with of wisdom rather than thinking I have to know everything. And so tonight I want to talk about the felicity of simplicity with the electricity of enterprising life and internally, eternally, uh, canonizing internal tenacity, yes, I'm a blessing of life. Well, tonight, as, I, as I'm opening up to this, I'm really trying to, I'm expanding into this as I speak right now. I've never, ever understood this, and I've been talking about it for a long time to myself about the simplicity of life. And life is very simple, but we try to live in the past, the present, and the future all at once, rather than listening and hearing and seeing the now. And that is something I'm really opened up to here, and it's an intuitive thing. But we live with all the thinking going on from our subconscious filters, our thinking, and all of our self-taught torment and our self-taught grandeur, whatever we whatever we hit at that time. But the simplicity of life is is how simple is life? It's living now, and I'm really just expanding of this and just opening my eyes to it. I it's all new to me, but it really feels good to me when I open up to understand. I'm living the now. But the thing, I taught myself to think, oh, my God, what are other people thinking? What's going on? Why did this happen to me? And I, I look at everything through the, the egotistical arrogance of I'm right rather than in my bright eyes of brilliant resolve, internally galvanizing harmony today. But we, we try to take everything in and we try to think we know and we're trying to do it all at once rather than opening up and understand how am I expanding in the moment and what am I hearing what am I seeing and how and how how am I stuck in yesterday? That is something that I'm really believing in because we really do live from yesterday if you really look at this today. But it's really the simplicity. It's like going down the road and you're having a flat tire and you go through the median across the interstate, you know, across the other lanes, almost hit a car in a Jersey barrier and a whole bunch of stuff to make the story sound fantastic. But in the end, when everything comes to a stop, it comes down to I had a flat tire, I changed the flat tire, I'm on my way. Taking the story of the drama and the trauma out of life and admitting and just enjoying the moments of life and being able to facilitate and participate in the daily adventures we experience. And it, but we should celebrate the internal victories that we have because but for me I'm too busy trying to run the world and I admit that rather than enjoy the expansion I'm hearing in the moment so as I let myself move forward through all this it's re really about just listening and enjoying what's going on and yes when there's a challenge it's hard to enjoy but a challenge is actually opening up new roads of riches within myself to experience a better a better life because it features everything a challenge features everything I'm holding on to and that is something new for me and, I, and when you're really into a challenge and life's going and you get your mind all busy and everything inside you becomes busy how do you become dizzy and then angry and then frustrated and then stressed out telling the world 
all the trauma and drama that's going on inside you. And then the whole world seems like that's what it is. Drama, trauma, torment, everything. And I and I, as I go through that, I understand that's happening to me. But as I open, clear the way, clear the cobwebs of dread, realizing that life is going to show me the challenge, the dark, and all the unsavory stuff before it allows me to dance on my dance floor of wealth and success, love, harmony, all the desired accomplishments I de I open, I'm open to experience. And that's something that there's a key word there, open. Are you open? to experiencing the keys, uh, opening, open to experiencing the love you desire, the wealth, the success. Because a lot of us have locked and blocked stuff in us that we feel we don't deserve it because we've been taught subconsciously by a society of, oh, if you're successful, you're doing something wrong. If you're wealthy, you're doing something wrong. If you ain't following the herdocracy and the turdocracy of society, you're doing something wrong. The difference between wealthy people, some of them, and others, they were willing to break the rules of society and the laws of society that you have to go through this and this to be this. Some of them opened up and trusted their inner, their inner, in, inner intuitive and their inner innovative wit. The wis wit is wisdom, innovation, and talent. That's the that is something that everybody should, well, ha, well, has to open up to. And I don't like the word has to, but everybody has to be open to trusting their abilities because everybody has a book, a song, something to expand the world. But however, we've had it stolen from us subconsciously by ourselves. Because when we get into the subconscious, oh my God, that's new over there. And I am as guilty as, I'm the most guilty I know. And I'm the only one I can talk about is me. And I can't tell society what's wrong. I can't tell anybody that's listened to this what is wrong. Only thing I can say is this is what I'm expanding. And this is how I'm expanding my life. The key, and I never change my life. I expand my life. And I energize the now to experience the now because that's a naturally optimistic wonderment because I wonder how wealthy or how well or how good and dynamic my life will be when I feel free on the inside. And that is the thing. It's all about liberating the inside. And that's what I am a hypnotherapist, NLP practitioner, but that's what cowboy wisdom has expanded into. I'm a hypnotherapist of the now. Stop listening and trying to heal the past because the past will dissolve itself when you open up to listen to the now and experience the now because the events that are going on in your life right now are the ones that are going to feed your, your attachment to the past. We've been taught to hang on to the past through a school system and a society's systematic way of, oh, that happened yesterday, and how that's the way they control us with recessions, and this is what happened yesterday. Remember this? And when everybody starts having the economy we have right now, what are they talking about? They're talking about inflation, deflation, wage pressures, everything. They try to steal our lives through a banker's bureaucracy. And that is where we're at. Because the banker's bureaucracy controls the world. And it just cuts all the flack when you say banker's bureaucracy. Because everything you was taught in school was what they wanted you to know and how they wanted to control you. And how does that control play out in your life today? It's the intuition of the unknown and the unfathomable and the unexplainable that you allow become visible opens your way to expand of life and to live of the now. I'm just opening to this. Well, it's actually been going on for a long time, but in the last year, I've opened up to understand if you think one thought about the past, you're living 
in the past, and the past will cast you in whatever that memory is, good, bad, or indifferent. So if you want to experience it now, you hear the wisdom of the hear the wisdom in the winds that are blowing through your life today. I use the word wind because the wind comes from all directions and is unstoppable, unfathomable, and it comes from well, scientists know, but it comes from nowhere. Wisdom shows up in your life from out of nowhere. And that is called the Terra Incanita. That's the land of the unknown. And that is where we're afraid to go because we stay inside what we know because it's easy and it's comfortable. And the comfortability and the convenience of that is the reason I haven't, I've really stayed the same. I now admit I have. I've expanded a lot, but in a lot of ways I stayed the same. I stay in my own comfort zone because I cloned myself to follow what was easy. And everybody gets all distempered and hyper about money. Money is the most innocent thing there is. It's our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions of money's evil. Money's not evil. People are evil. The emotions, the feeling, and the greed, and the controlling greed of people is where it is. And, you know, we, and I've, I understand now we've expanded so far, but we've never expanded out of the enslaving codes that are within us. We either want to tell people what to do, or we're waiting to be somebody tell us what to do. The difference between wealthy people or successful people is they stopped waiting for people to tell them what to do. They showed themselves the way. And that is the way it is. When you show yourself the way to the promised land, you're, you let go of the bland and feel the bountiful bliss of life kiss you on the cheek. So you can canonize harmony, expand efficacy, kinetically energizing your life. You expand your vocabulary, you expand your life. And you'll be surprised. You start putting new words in your life, you'll be surprised how much many times you hear them during the day and throughout the life that you're experiencing now. And something I really have opened up to, when I start having discouraging thoughts and unsavory thoughts and actions towards somebody, I usually find a way to cut myself or find a way to inflict a little pain upon myself like a cut finger or cut myself shaven. And every and when you pay attention to the thoughts that are going through you and what occurs when you cut your finger, see how that has got you you were thinking unsavory about something. That happens to me and now it happens quickly and easily. So I really desire to have thoughts about everybody succeeding and good thoughts and simplifying my life because I don't, I stopped, I don't have the time in my life anymore. I don't like a negative word, but I lack the time because, you know, one unsavory thought, one negative thought takes seven positive, seven, seven inspirational expressions to expand out of that. And that's something I really and focused on, and I quit having thoughts to having inspirational expressions because I'm alleviating the old way of my life. And that is the way, that is the way I'm really opening myself to experience the simplest simplicity of life. Because if I can keep everything under 10 words, I keep the drama and trauma and the drama, the drama, the trauma and the torment and the stress out of my life. So 10 words or less, I undress the stress to dress, to dress for success, seeing unconditional celebrations, canonize everyday splendor, sensing life is an adventure. And that is where I open myself to feel the love of myself, to show the world, to feel the love. I show the world the love of me so the world and the universe show me the love of them. Because it isn't the love, it's the appreciation of life that will show you the value of your visionary versatility. 
How does it feel to understand you encompass visionary versatility to expand through challenges, to energize the wise, to enterprise the wealth and success you desire to experience? And that is something that I've really opened up to. It isn't what I want. It's what am I willing to experience? Good, bad, or indifferent. What am I willing to experience? And the dark and the storm will arrive before the sunshine of my life because I got to feature the history within myself to see the new wave of ter the new tabla rosa because I got to clean the slate of yesterday to see the clean slate of today to paint the mural of my majestic utopian riches allowing life to expand me to energize me and show me the ebullience and the efficacies and the elegance of life to experience the grandeur of who i am when you can experience the grandeur of yourself you experience the grandeur of life. Nothing will ever happen in the physical world till it happens inside you. You got to celebrate here to celebrate the jubilees of free in the physical world. And we have been taught by a school system and by a society that we must follow the herd, stay inside the laws and the rules that somebody else writ, wrote for us to follow. That's where the real wealthy people, but not wealthy people, but sometimes the spiritual people live is beyond the laws and the rules. They live inside their harmony of their own king, the king and queen within themselves of their own royalty. And quit looking at the royalty of the world to start looking at the royalty within me to understand I am the majestic mature magician to expand myself through life it's the simplicity of it and see it's like a magician when you go to a magician or a hypnotist therapist hypnotist hypnotherapist show where they make people do anything it isn't because of anything more than the person on stage is uninhibited they're not afraid to be laughed at they're not afraid to be themselves because that is what hypnotherapy does. It allows you to be yourself. And it's uninhibited. It allows you, that's a, hypnotherapy allows you to let go and detach from all the stuff that you've embedded and you wanted to hide from the world. It isn't personal growth. It isn't self-help. It's expansion. -ism. I see me instantly sever yesterday it's about severing everything that we've hidden from the world that's what expansionism is it's seeing me free from everything i hid you know we hide it inside ourselves hoping nobody ever finds out but our subconscious conscious and our inner self knows it's there and it holds us in prison so when you can see the simplicity of just letting go and detaching from the thorns of scorn and sending it to the world to let the world feel your freedom because whatever frees you frees the world. That is the thing. Freedom comes from within and sovereignty comes from within. So you can allow people to feel free and to understand they're going through the exact same thing you are. And I, and I want to thank everybody here. I want everybody to enjoy a fun weekend. Relax because time is being stolen because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Time is priceless. Family time is priceless. Working time steals your life. And that's what we've been taught by the society. The more we work, the more we have. The more we enterprise, the more we experience, the more galvanized gusto that flows through me to the world to be flow back to me, opening my life 
to the grandeur I desire to experience. I am Robert A. Wilson with Cowboy Wisdom. My website is mycowboywisdom.com. And my books are available at howdiditeachmyselffear.com and at amazon.com slash author slash Robert A. Wilson. My books are wrote in first person. They wrote about how I expanded my life and the ways I expanded my life. And they're unpunctuated because life is unpunctuated and unedited. It's an experience of the new and of the now. So everybody enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you next Tuesday night.